Happy New Year to everybody. We have finally done it January 1st, 2021. We can say goodbye to the year of 2020, even though it's only logical to assume that part of 2020 is going to bleed into the beginning of 2021. But I see a much better year for all of us, and I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone had a safe and happy New Year's. And with that said, one of the biggest storms on record hitting the Bering Sea near Alaska as we speak. And this is what we call a winter hurricane. <laughs> All right, my friends, let's start the year off right. It is 10.59 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here in Northeast Pennsylvania, and I am closely watching what we are now calling a bomb cyclone. You have heard that term before in the hurricane discussions we've had on this channel, and you can see that here as the title of the article on the Anchorage Daily News. This is a big deal, my friends. This is a record-breaking low-pressure system basically mimicking a hurricane in the northern Pacific Ocean. I'm going to read you some of this article as it is very important to this information. Information. And even though the United States is kind of set away from this part of Alaska, it's still very important when it comes to weather. For those of you that follow weather, this is a record-breaking situation. Whenever you see 921, even in the 930s in millibars of pressure, that is a very, very significant low-pressure system. I will begin from the top. A powerhouse storm explosively intensifying in the northern Pacific could rank as the strongest non-tropical cyclone observed in the ocean basin. That is a very key information right there. The storm's pressure has already dropped to 921 millibars on New Year's Eve, which is even lower than extreme cyclones that formed in the same vicinity in 2014 and 2015. It now qualifies as the strongest storm on record to hit Alaska, according to Rick Thoman, a climate scientist at the University of Alaska at Fairbanks. Now, to make sense of all that, for those of you that don't understand the low pressure system, this here is an isobar chart, and this is how we get these numbers, the 921 millibars or 27.20 inches measured in a certain area that is a pressure measurement and for those of you that follow me during hurricane season we use the same exact process to gain info on the pressures within a hurricane so as you can see here when we get to that 920 to 944 millibar range that is a category 4 storm so we can take this storm in Alaska and the bomb cyclone terminology means that the pressure has dropped 24 millibars within a 24 hour period even more than that so this is beyond a bomb cyclone and when we come back to this isobar chart and you see that 921 millibars in pressure that is well within if not touching the category 5 strength zone of a measured hurricane taking a look at weathernerds.org you can kind of get the top section of the Pacific Ocean if you adjust the settings and the loop time you can get the west coast of the US right here where a lot of the systems that come underneath this storm across the Pacific Ocean towards the west coast are going to be affected by this cyclone situation in the Bering Sea near Alaska. Something incredible I want to show you are the wave heights that this storm is producing. You can basically consider this a full-blown hurricane, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at some wind speeds and the wave heights right now. Now, if you watch me switch from the wind tab to the wave tab, you could see that the bulk of the energy and the waves you're going to see are sitting right here underneath the strip lands of Alaska here, which means that this storm has the potential to be pushed to the east, which will then affect parts of the west side of Canada and the upper side of the western United States. And then we'll take a look at some of those wave heights here. So take a look at this area right here, the centralized area of the pressure. And now take a look at this as we get into the wave heights. We could see the most highlighted area and the highest of the waves is in that southeastern quadrant of this storm itself. And we can go down to this chart down here and see that we are well over 30 foot swells in this entire hundreds of square mile area in the ocean. And as I zoom in here, we can get a estimated idea of what size these waves are. And you're not going to believe some of the info that you're about to see. 44 foot wave swells all within this color. So you can get anywhere from 44 to 50 foot swells going on all over the Pacific Ocean because of a bomb cyclone going on in the Bering Sea of Alaska. Very, very unique storm going on right now. As far as wind speed goes, it's already been reported of gust over 100 miles an hour. That was on New Year's Eve, actually, last night. So now we're getting adjusted info that these wind speeds have hit well into the 100 and teens. So 113, anywhere to 119 is what we are reporting right now. And that is just 
some unbelievable stuff. And really quick, I just want to be clear that although I'm not covering the United States weather today because of this Alaska storm taking over the weather news, I will be covering the United States and the continuing winter storm threat we have going on, the different unique record-breaking situations going on all over the U.S. as far as temperatures and some pretty interesting anomalies I'm going to be getting into on the channel here. Very, very fun stuff, so please stay tuned as we are beginning a new year on this channel, and I can assure you we are going to be all over the globe when it comes to weather, the United States, and space weather, and also the seismic activity that goes on around the globe. Really quick, my friends, I want to zoom out here on the Earth.NullSchool website and just give you an idea of the pattern and the trajectory of this storm. We could see it just to the north of the extending strip lands of Alaska. It is pushing down weather across the Pacific Ocean towards the west coast of the United States and Canada. This is a constant cycle that we are going to see over the next couple weeks. This storm will sit still and will, will even be recycled and continue to happen again. It may not be as strong as this storm, but the constant variable here is this cyclone formation going on by the Bering Sea, which will then in turn control the weather going on in the Pacific Ocean that is on a constant belt moving towards the United States and then gets caught up in our jet stream. And then over time, our weather systems we watch exit into the Atlantic Ocean. So this is all one big giant carousel of weather. And we need to understand that one thing directly affects the next thing. So watching these storms up by Alaska is very important to be prepared for different types of weather in the United States. Not only that, but if you think about it, and not a lot of people are in harm's way, this is actually pretty interesting stuff. You do not get to see this type of weather every day, and for those of you that follow weather and understand these numbers, this is a very significant storm that would have anybody on their toes no matter where in the world this storm takes place. You have places like the Weather Channel and many, many other weather outlets highlighting this as the top news in weather right now. You know it's very important. These low pressure systems are no joke, and the theme here is that these are happening more and more often, so we need to understand that this overall idea of these storms, these record breaking storms and situations that are happening more and more and more, not just in 2020, but in general, are something we really, really need to focus on. And that, my friend, is the update for today. I hope everybody had a safe and happy new year. I hope you're enjoying your day today. Of course, we are talking about weather here on this channel and one of the biggest low-pressure system storms to ever hit the Bering Sea and Alaska. You could see right here 40 to 50 foot swells and a huge central low pressure system with a record breaking low pressure. My friends, thank you so much for taking the time out of your holiday to watch this video. We will be having regular updates now that the new year has begun. Shout out to Canada and shout out to all of you that have stuck with me over the last couple months and years. Thank you all so much. I will be back tomorrow and until then, stay warm most of all, but also be safe. Thank you all so much. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.